Baby. Strawberry juice. Wow, that's so cool looking. <sighs> it smells so fresh and so yummy. I can't wait to taste this. Cheers, babe. <laughs> And welcome to today's video, our Jack Lorraine juicer video. I'm Jody, and this is Spindle. And on this channel, we share some of our family videos and some of my mommy videos and have product reviews from time to time. So if you're new, please consider subscribing and become part of our YouTube family. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure to check the links in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. Sindel is obviously doing her part to help us open this video, or maybe not. <laughs> you want to go in the other room with that and them? Okay. So today, you guys, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been feeling my best, and juicing is something that always makes me feel better, so I'm super excited to be making this video. This little girl can't make up her mind. So really quick, I'm going to show you what our juicer looks like up close. And so cue that footage. This is where our juicer lives right now, as you can see. It is the Jack Lorraine Power Juicer, and we are going to be juicing these berries, oranges, and apple. I'm gonna show it to you a little bit more up close. And hopefully this one won't be so distracting. What's going on? Do you want some berries? Oh, do you want some berries? Is that what's wrong? Okay, let's get her put up in her seat. Okay, back to showing you guys this thing up close. Again, I apologize for all the interruptions. So this is the part where we're gonna put the fruit down in there. You can see the blade as well. And then this helps push it down. Back here is where the pulp is going to come out. You have our on and off button, and it's actually fairly quiet, which I'll give you a chance to hear it once we get going with the juice. And then this, pops up as you can see and that stops the juice from coming out. I, as you'll see here, I like to use a Pyrex glass to capture the juice before I put it in the pitcher. You push this down. There is a little ball up in here and I'll move it around if it feels like the pulp is too heavy and it's not wanting to come out, especially more when you're doing a lot of apples. This part has to be on in order for it to work. Like so. <laughs> Ours has a key, and I'll show you where that. this top comes off. As you can see, this is not rust, it's just discoloration. This key goes in here, and it removes the blade, like so. It's a little blurry there. All right, be super careful because these are very sharp. Needs a little more spinning. There we go. All right, and then off it comes. And then this is the little reservoir where you'll find the buildup of pulp, and then also where the juice goes down and out. You can see this back part will come off, and then this just lifts off as well. And we put it back on, and then this goes back on like so. All right, so that is what our juicer looks like, and maybe you've heard about the benefits that juicing has to offer. I can't help but think that having a balanced diet, eating whole fruits as well, and also exercising are gonna be the key to living a healthy life, that it's not just all the emphasis on juicing, but this is a fun way to take in your fruit and veggies and to mix it up, other than just having to eat them fresh or raw, which we all know that consuming fruits and veggies raw is the best way. And I think what's fun about this is it allows you to combine both. However, unfortunately today, I'm not gonna be throwing any veggies into ours. So a couple of things I wanted to share with you before we get into juicing, because I'm gonna show you this whole process from start to finish it, from the actual juice to cleaning our juicer, is that this juicer is the first thing Micah and I got when we were married, so it's pretty special to us. And then he also created a painting from the very first juice that we made. Our first juice was oranges, blackberries, grapefruit, and I can't remember what all else. But either way, he made a painting from the pulp and what it looked like. I may be a little bit biased, but I love Micah's painting skills. Let's just go ahead and jump into this juicing before Sindel also knocks this camera down. Do you want to go juice, princess? 
No, she says I want to vlog. All right, come on, let's go. We'll vlog later. Yeah, let's go. Juice time. All right, this is a painting he made from our first juice. As you can see, I think it was primarily blackberries and then we had the oranges and grapefruit as I yeah. mentioned and if I can uh, find the photo of what he painted this from and his inspiration from that first juice I will insert it here as well too We've got our stuff ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it plugged in, and then we're gonna use our little Pyrex glass here to capture the juice. I'm calling in Micah to help with the juicing process. We start? Yep, we start. What are we starting with? The button and whatever you wanna throw in. The button? <laughs> Turn it on. As Apple. you guys can hear it, that's just the thing rattling a little bit, but it's actually pretty quiet. Throwing them in. Apple. Out comes some apple She's juice. Doing orange. There's some apple juice. And then some orange. Ooh, look at that color. Super mm. bright. Change the orange here. We'll do that some more apple. Oh, baby. Strawberry juice. Wow. That's so cool looking. It smells amazing. These two are fascinated by it. <laughs> Stir thing. Ooh, yum. Look at how quiet that is. It smells so fresh and so yummy. I can't wait to taste this. I wish you could smell what we are smelling. There you can see Mike is making sure that all the juice is coming out because sometimes the pulp will plug here and I've had it over flood and it'll come out from this area. Yum, Luki, you wanna get Wow, your cup? those are some full glasses. And yeah, let's get Luki some. Oop. The babies are eagerly awaiting their chance yeah. to see how it tastes. Fresh juice, buddy. Cheers, babe. <laughs> Can I get first sip? Oh, eagerly. What is that? Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's so good. It tastes like strawberry juice. It does taste like strawberry juice. No fingers inside, though. No, how you like yours, Luki? You wanna try? Mmm. Oh, she wants more. Yum. All right, next up is showing you guys it's good. <laughs> how to clean our juicer. So, Micah went ahead and pushed this up so no juice would drip out of it. I'm going to pull this thing out here as I kind of showed you already and take this off. You can see all the pulp inside and then down into there. So if you wanted, you could turn this pulp that's left over, maybe throw it into a batter that you're making. I'm gonna use the key to take this off. As I showed you previously, comes off pretty simple. Again, be careful because the blade is super sharp. I'm going to take this pulp and throw it in there so it doesn't fall on my counter. Take this off so you can see what is in there. As you can see, there's actually not too much pulp down there. The juice is all drained. It came with this scrub brush that I will use to scrub that and this as well down here. And then this part comes off just like that as well. And I'm going to give it a good wash too. And then you can see here, this is just the base that is left and it's pretty clean to unplug it. You guys, this stuff is dishwasher safe. However, I prefer hand washing mine. Juice 
producer, be sure and read your directions completely. Ours told us do not over tighten it. So I can feel a little tension there as you can see and that's all the more it probably needs. Another thing I wanted to point out really quick here is this lip. Make sure you get your part underneath it because if you don't, you will not get the discharge stuff in this container and that kind of sucks. She's stealing brother's juice because brother didn't drink his juice. Do you like it, sis? Huh? Oh, it's so nummies. All right, you guys, that is it that I wanted to share about our juicer today. I'm gonna share a little bit more of how our day goes because I love vlogging and just making these product reviews are just not enough for me. Lukey, you working hard? <laughs> Pepperoni and all the broccoli, yes. garlic, and bacon. <laughs> this is all gonna come with us to the store real quick. You getting tired? Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. All right, so both babies want to come to the store with me, and they are super excited about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> made it here and Micah says we need to get airborne peppermint tea, mushrooms, ramen, and beer. Good with that, bud? Let's get those things, okay? You can do this? Good job, buddy. Toys. Toys, yep. <laughs> airborne, peppermint tea. Luki's gonna get the mushrooms. Get them, bud. There you go, you got the mushrooms. Yeah. One more. Come on, babies, now for the ramen. You did. And I can't help but get some hot. And unfortunately, we gotta go to another store to get the beer, so I'll see you guys back at home. That was actually kind of funny. I know I said I'd see you guys back home, but Micah still has my ID because we did our taxes the other night and I never got it back from him. So I have to come back and get the beer and the liquor. <laughs> they gave Lucas a treat. What'd you get, buddy? What do you have? Show me. He's got a sucker in his hand. Back home and dinner is red. Yum. Pasta veggie dishes. Hey. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. You love this part, huh? Woohoo! Everything we like.